Greetings friends and welcome to the very first Platform 32 Ian's VR Streaming Corner in quite a long time. The last time I did a VR Streaming Corner was um, quite a few months ago now when I tried out um, the first person shooter game, what's it called? Shoot your McBangs? Uh, shoot your McBangs 2, shooty men's, do a shooting tons. That's the game. Five all zero hour, that's the one it was called. Uh, it's Yeah, and it's been a while, and I've chosen the hottest day of the year so far to uh, try out a brand new demo of the much anticipated, the highly anticipated Iron Man VR. Now, for those of you who don't live in England, um, this happens every year. Lots of people, especially the people in America, go, why, why don't you just put the aircon on? Um, you might not know this about the UK, but generally about 98% of the time in the UK the weather is terrible and uh, no house no house in the in England unless you're really rich has uh, aircon because there's no point uh, it's very expensive to install and you only need to use it like two weeks out of the year um, but that means yeah I'm just in a sweltering hot room right now with uh, loads of different uh, computer equipment running and uh, this big hot helmet on as well. So I'm going to be sweating my way through this demo for you, which I believe is going to last about 25 minutes or so. Um, uh, and then if I'm not if I'm not super dead, I'll try playing it through again, knowing the controls. So maybe I'll be, uh, you know, see if I'm a little bit better with it or not, because I'm going to be inside this uh, VR headset. You are not going to be able to chat to me very much because I won't be able to see your comments. But don't worry, because the lovely night cat is there to um, keep everyone safe. Uh, is there any other? And Gavin's here as well. So they will both keep you very safe while I'm uh, encased in this plastic hot box. Um, big hot helmet clacks and says gas sharp. Yeah, it's it's very sweaty in in this room at the moment, especially this time of day because the sun sets through this window. So my room just starts heating up around now to incredible temperatures. And in fact, sometimes it makes my PC um, go really slow. In in previous years, it's it's affected my streaming quality because my room's been so hot. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. Before I kick this off, though, let's just have a quick chat, uh, a quick shout out to the participants. We've got Alex B, Alex Samaras, Alexander Hansen, Ben Eats Platter Pie, Can't Stop the Bees, Chino, Dragon Bother, EA Wanted to Govern UK, Six Guys Sharp, Joan Dev, Jeff, Aaron, Rumor Cloud, Jesus Ramos, Carl Richardson, Kate Lily, Kashu Charan, Lassus, Lazy Jane, Mark, Russell Media, Good Danny, Monica Lock, Pick Moss, Night Cat, Nummy Numerous, Paul the Beardy, One Downing, Pierce VR without PL, Parole, Meow, Rena What, Ruthie Pinion, Some Guys Sitting Down, Terrible Game of YL, Unholy Muppet, Vandal, Vicky Warren, When I'm 64 Bits, and loads of other people joining we've got 116 people joining right now so i better not hang around thank you so much everybody for popping along um i wouldn't blame you if you wanted to sit outside in the sunshine to be honest um i went out there for my lunch break and uh, i thought it felt like i was on holiday uh i was sat on a chair like a lounger chair that my wife had been sat on and she'd been sat on her sunbathing so the chair smelled of suntan lotion and it was super hot and I was just in my shorts. So, yeah, I was like, oh, it feels, it feels like I'm all, it's all my holiday senses are tingling. It wants me to return to the play area, which I guess is over here somewhere. It's being a bit fussy, but that means I'm off screen. Let me just scoot myself along a bit. Whee! All right, here we go. I think I'm, I think I'm finally ready. I've done, done all the gassing. I'm ready to go. Welcome, everyone, to Platform 32. This is the world's hottest playthrough of the Iron Man VR demo. Press any baton. Extend your arms in a T pose and hold the T on both buttons. Hand up, palm forward. Press the move button to select. Well, the, oh, I, that, yeah, I see, I see. Well, that was weird. Uh, since this is your first time playing, a short tutorial will help get you comfortable in VR. Now, I have played a demo of this, and I played a demo of this coming up two years ago now, when I went to New York for a PlayStation VR Summer Showcase event. Um, it was a very good event, and I played lots of good games, but this game kind of disappointed me. when it was, when The demo felt a little bit janky, um, and I can see why it's got delayed quite a bit. Oh, we can... Can I draw a willy? 
I can. There you go. Now that is one hell of a vision. Did you get it? That was a that was a that was an Iron Man joke. Well, it was a Marvel joke. Stay in the center of the clear play area. Do not walk around. Be aware of your surroundings. You can read Cranley Blake. Break the play area by holding the start button. Try it now. So, um, so uh, yeah, I am playing this sat down right now. So, when I played it in New York, I played it stood up. So this will be a good test to see whether or not this game is playable sat down. Uh, when the warning center appears, look down to find the orange circle. Okie dokie. Uh, Marvel's Iron Man VR is played in 360 open environments. Turn around, press the turn button. That one, okay. Turn left or right, press both at the same time. Blah, blah. Okay. Well, oh no, I'm not... I'm not, not up for this click-turning malarkey, that's for sure. Wait, what? There we go. Guide arrows or PDR. Blah, 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 blah. What what worries me about this game already is um, Sony. A lot of uh, VR games still, especially when they're published by Sony, seem to be scared that they'll make people sick, and then they you know they overdo all the safety things. When most people who've been playing VR for a long time just want to get in, and they don't have much motion sickness. But uh, with a game like this, I think that's gonna, they're hoping will attract lots of new players. I have a feeling this is going to be full of crazy safety options and stuff. Hopefully, I'll be able to turn them all off. Guide arrows, blah, blah. Uh, make sure you're facing the right way. Look up at the indicator to proceed. Okay. Be aware of the VR headset cable. Yeah, it's all right. I know it's got a cable. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, thanks, Iron Man, for making me safe. Whoa. Suit on! Wait, am I the ghost of Tony Stark? Is this set after Endgames? Spoilers. Let's check out the options quickly. VR experience. Right, we want turn speed as, I guess, fast. Hold. Do you reckon hold is hold's going to be smooth turn? Because tap, yeah, hold should be smooth turn. Turn vignette, we're having off. Uh, impact vignette, um, well, I don't know what the... I mean, impact vignette... Mm, I'll put it on low just so I know I'm being hit, I guess. Uh, and I definitely don't want to replay the VR tutorial. Okay, so I think I got fast, no vignette turn speed with a low impact vignette. Um, and audio wise, I'm going to put the subtitles on so you lot can hear what's going on. I'm going to go back, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to just double check the comments and stuff just to make sure you you lot aren't shouting at me and saying that you can't hear the game or something. Uh, Lots of comfort settings. Lucky you can turn them all off. Says PSVR without parole. Okay. Ian's having it off everyone. This is good shot. Ha ha la la. Um, yeah, it seems okay. Let's hope with all these comfort settings on, I don't feel so good. No, that doesn't work. Let's hope I don't feel so good. With all. No, let's hope that I don't. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> It's too hot. My brain is not working today. Uh, Malibu, USA. That's where Tony Stark... This, I think this is going to be the demo I played at the event, you know. So it's going to be quite interesting to see if it's any different. My memory of two years ago of a 20-minute VR experience isn't that great, to be honest with you. Uh, but I do remember that you have to fly through the... Um, the arches and things around Tony Stark's mansion. So I presume it's going to be the same kind of thing. And that you have to fly backwards by kind of... This is why I think maybe playing sat down is going to be a bit awkward. Because you, your thrusters are on your hands. So to fly forwards you have to kind of face your hands backwards a bit. And like we... So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, at home in Malibu. Oh do with a Malibu and Coke right now. That's how I feel. Hot and sweaty inside a suit. 
Plonk. It's weird seeing the uh, Iron Man UI on this side. Normally you see Tony Stark's face and the uh, UI on the other side. To hold, begin, put your hands out flat to engage the thrusters. Okay. Boom! Here we go. Whee! I mean, it's pretty cool already. It feels pretty awesome. Jetting around like this. Boom. <laughs> Woo! Good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. I just, I, I don't know. Um, visuals wise, it does feel like, especially that sunset there, the lighting's a bit better now. Doesn't seem. It doesn't seem any sharper than I remember it being, but, you know, this is PlayStation VR, so there are a few uh, corners cut in order to get things to run. Wow! Well, I thought I was going to crash into that then. Camo, Fladge. <laughs> going to kick you in the camo, Fladge. Iron Man VR. Look at me, I'm bloody Iron Man. That's quite a nice view, actually. I've got to say, it looks pretty. Are we still going? Pachoom. All right, so repulsors are the move buttons, and triggers are the thruster trons. Opening targeting, sweet. Repulsor. Opening targeting, sweet. Pew pew pew. Bullseye. Bullseye. Be aware of the VR headset case. You've told me this. Don't worry, I'm aware. So I think what it's saying with that warning is, you know, it wants you to kind of play stood up, I think. And it's, it's probably scared you might fall on your ass. Turning left is done by clicking uh, the problem, what button is that the square button problems. on the left controller and turning right Do I need to stage an is done by the right Only controller so. Where are you anyway? and it looks like oh hi handsome like hi yeah it looks like uh, they have not been able to afford robert downey jr's image or voice or gwyneth paltrow either three more targets to go Okay, let's go and find some more targets. Okay, so we got one down there. Should we try and see if we can fly under this? Yeah, it's, I'm going to say right now it's definitely more, more comfortable playing this stood up just because of the way I'm having to one more. bend my back in order to give my arms room to face behind me for these thrusters. Still feels pretty cool though. That's how it's done. Da, da, da. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? A time you know trial, huh? Better with an audience. Okay, Pan Lan Tony Stark. Where's the start of the time trial? Over here. Woo! Start flight test. So yeah, I wonder if, like there were two levels that I played during the um, the PlayStation VR. Let's start with boost. Uh, summer showcase. There was this level, and there was another level set, like basically around a big future plane with loads of drones. I'm wondering whether it's going to be the same one. Oh look, you can see a little, a little mini me playing the bongos. Tony Stark. Okay, hold your hands by your sides, palm back, double tap to boost. Boom! <laughs> I mean, you can kind of use your head to uh, manoeuvre slightly as well, which makes it feel a little bit like that Ubisoft um, flying game. I can't remember what it's called. Eagle... Eagle's Tits or something. Way on! Ah, oh, I thought I'd missed that one. Sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. Ha ha! No, that one's within the normal range. For me, anyway. It doesn't... It's, it sounds weird. He doesn't sound like a... a Tony Stark. Sounds more like a John Smith. Whoa, shit! Warm up the jets. I want to punch something. 
I c did I complete it? No, come on. What? Oh, hold the melee buttons. Fist rockets engaged. <laughs> Throw a punch. Oh, fist rockets. Knockout. So Just you can. Like okay. Oh, shit. I'm going there. I'm going there. Calm down, game. Well, I need to. I've already forgotten what the punch button was. Shit. There we go. It's okay. This suit's waterproof. What the? Where have I gone? Uh. I, I'm Time to punch out. pretty sure my time is terrible. <laughs> Just fisting my way to victory. It's Let's fine. Go, 1 minute Tony. 28. Yeah, Tony. Yeah. Are you gonna go again? I, think, I think I'm good for now. Uh, maybe I'll try again after this demo's done. Maybe later. The suit itself is very shiny, very sharp, um, really, really well detailed, and also, so far, it's a lot less um, janky and rickety than it was when I played it at the Summer Showcase. When I played it at the Summer Showcase, Tony's arms would like vibrate off into the distance and stuff, but um, they seem to have done a lot of work in making his body a bit more steady. There's some weird rotational effect going on with the arm there. Um, but it's quite cool. It's nice. I, I do like the um, the way the suit kind of stretches and compresses in on itself when you move your arm and stuff. There's a lot of different moving parts in here, which is really cool. Whoa, I'm going backwards. So I need to fly home now. I just want, I want to check out my boat first. We Oh, no, it doesn't want you to go on the boat. I'm home. Just trying to open the door. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons to remember. The there we go. The ego has landed. Nice. Sweat update. There is some. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is pretty much the exact same demo I played almost two years ago, but um, yeah, a little bit more polish. Definitely more polish to it. It's looking better than I thought it would, says Vandal. Hey, it's a moi stuck in finals week paper grading. It's been so long since I caught a live stream. Well, good to see you at somewhere. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone else is doing well as well. Staying safe, staying inside. I know it's sunny and the temptation is to go outside, but we really don't want a second wave before the first wave is finished, right? Years later. Yes, this is the same demo. Ah, oh, Stark Shanghai again. Oh, oh fuck. I'm strange. scared of flying. I don't like this already. Okay, again, really nice sharp detail on Tony Stark's body. He's got a buff, buff chest, just like me. Uh, let's open this and see what's going on in this special future briefcase. Oh, look at that. That's just showing off that. Okay, so yeah. Whoops. Morning, sir. Morning, Friday. May I get you something? Um, Friday. Do you see cup of pepper? Oh. Cup of tea? I believe she's putting out a fire. It's probably my fault. Oh, you can choose, select, uh... Literal or figurative? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Yep. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. 
Yeah. Or don't you watch the news? I am a bit of a... Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. Pepper Potts. Her parents must have been assholes. of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. Maybe. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's going to thank me. Hello. I'm going to kill you. Ah! I drank so hard I broke my hand. Before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. That's right. Or don't you watch the news? I should. I'm going to. Yeah. Bye bye. Ghost robot. Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right. Tell me. Here's the thing. I wasn't put on earth to sit behind a desk. I wasn't. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was going to ask. I do wonder how many there are glove boxes how much of the game is going to be like a sit down the company turned to call watch stuff games. happen. We're a force for good kind of thing. And I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? No. <laughs> oh! My cup of tea. Damn it. Friday. Who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. What the hell? Someone has taken us over. Remotely. Oh, nuts. I hate those kind What's of takeovers. There? It's a Stark drone. A combat drone? What? We don't make combat drones anymore. No. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Ah, oh, damn it. It's Rimmer. Hello, Stark. Ah, oh, shit. Someone sacked into my iPad. I'm just a ghost from your past. Batman's parents. Tony, look! What are you doing? Incoming. Who's coming? Oh! Oh, good God! Time to die. All my worst fears come to life. Yep. Tony. Oh yeah. Friday, I would have. I would have puked so hard by now if this was real. Uh, Ian, Ian and children first. I need the... Give me it! Oh, shit. So it takes a lot of the movement away from you. Um, probably, I don't know whether to stop nausea or just because it's trying to load different scenes or whatever, but... Being sucked out of the plane wasn't that scary in the end. What the... And I'm kind of like, you know, I'm just kind of... It's like I'm stood still. Ooh, gaunt at me, baby! This is cool, this bit. Pew, pew, pew! Fist me, baby! That's right. Chest me, baby! Up there? The up there? Getting awfully close. Is it? Up. Face me, baby. Jeffrey <laughs> McLeod says, Red Dwarf in my P32. I'm aboard. So it's pretty cool. Like, it's quite... The way it does it is very cinematic and, like, it does do a very good job of making you feel like you are... Iron Man, uh, with all the bits, you know, jumping onto your body and whatever, but um, it also does feel a little bit like baby's first VR at times, with they're just sitting there without anything to do but listen to conversations. The flying around stuff, though, is pretty cool. I think without blinders on, Online. There will be people who get um, motion sick in the first level, we'll at least. Oh, I like seeing the ground below me. Chapter one, out of the blue. That that writing wasn't there the first time I played the so demo. Breach in the hull. Old news, I'll breach your hull. Wow. Scan that plane. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. Uh-oh. A secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. 
Okay, we can do this. So when you reach a point like this, it it clicks you in nice and easily. So you're not you're not at, you're not going to struggle really with reaching your locations and things. And there's the 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 sense of scale in VR is working really well to make me feel like I'm right by a big jet plane. Stay put. Oh, don't want to hit. Protect the jet. Oop. Oop. Nope. I'm supposed to avoid the laser fire. I'm getting my buttons confused. I want to shoot with the triggers and fly with the move control, uh, the move buttons, but it's the other way around, and it's it's making my tiny brain get confused occasionally. There's Miss Potts. She's playing crazy. Don't make me take that plane down. I better not. Better not. It's definitely... I tell you what, though. It definitely feels a lot tighter. A lot smoother. Um, uh, and a lot more exciting than the version I played at the event did. The version I played at the event had loads of slowdown and lots of, like... Um, Lots of lag with the frame rate, especially in this bit. But now it's it's really nice and smooth. It's, they've they've done a good job in improving the performance. You need to build some refrigerators into these cannons. Oh, I pressed the I pressed the quick turn button. That's it. I am not doing a very good job of. Avoiding those things. Where is my damage? I, it's 84% damage, I think. Oh, I've got 84% shields left. It's not too bad. I'll try and fist my way to victory. I mean, that's... That feels kind of like cheating. It locks you onto your uh, target and. I can't steer! So the aileron on the left Whee! side is being damaged. Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. I can do it. I can help. Hicks to the rescue. You never want to hear those words. Okay, so I need to. <laughs> Bye. Better. Yeah, it does. The clouds look quite nice as well. I don't actually remember there being ground below me in the other demo. What the? Maybe they've added it. Maybe I, my memory's just bad. But yeah, the clouds look really nice. They're very reminiscent of the um, the Ace Combat Seven clouds. Um, the only thing that's different about them is when you fly into them, you don't get cool drips of water flying over your uh, uh, flying over your headset. Am I supposed to be? Oh, I need to free the landing gear. Sorry, wasting valuable time here, chatting about clouds. Ah! 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 I'm really strong. <laughs> Tee -hee. Well done, both of you. If no one has any further objections, cool. I say we call it a day. We don't want to call it a day just yet, do we? What? Sir, Weapon? I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Good. Trigger finger's getting itchy. 
Oh, yeah. Shield butts. Ow. Oh, sidestep. How do I do that? Like that. Of course. Whoop, whoop. Oh, no. So, yeah, just boosting left or right. Ow. I guess you can't boost. You must have to charge your boost or something. Boost. Yeah, boost takes a little while to recharge, which you need to try and balance a bit. All threats neutralized. I'm sensing our hacker friend has returned. <laughs> Friday. 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 All systems are down. Damn it. You didn't have this problem with Thursday, that's for sure. What are you doing? What are you doing? No! My wife and also the CEO of Stark Industries. Wait, is Pepper his wife? I think so. Not yet, though. I don't think. Systems restored. Okay, we need to. Oh, pressing them wrong buttons again. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Oh. Pepper, find an exit. We. What the? Oh shit! Don't breathe the fire. Ow. Don't breathe in the burning stuff. It's the best way to survive a fire. Avoid the hot. Ah! I think I need to stop being so liberal with my shooty laser bangs. I'm going to guess, I'm going to hazard in a guess, that because this is level one, and she did say that we were taking a suit out for a, a spin, that perhaps... As the game goes onwards, uh, you unlock upgrades for your suit. And in fact, uh, if you play this demo, when the uh, actual game comes out, if you buy the actual game, you do get a special suit. I can't remember what the suit was called. Um, so I'm going to call it the Tony Stark poop suit. Boop! Whee! Hello. At this altitude, she'd be struggling for breath and she'd probably freeze to death in that, that, time, that dress. She definitely wouldn't be able to speak. Just saying. Suit up. And there is the release date. The 7th of March, 2020. Wait, what? Oh, wait, the 3rd of the 7th. So it's January, February, March, April, May, June. 3rd of June. So that is the release date was in the past. Uh, so yeah, that was exactly the same demo as I played during the um, the summer showcase in uh, New York a couple of years ago. I'm happy to say it plays and performs loads better than it did when I first played it. I wasn't really that impressed with the uh, performance. Um, and I found the game itself kind of underwhelming, but it's a lot more exciting now that um, I'm not, like, struggling to see due to janky graphics and stuff. Um, definitely feels like this is going to be one that's better played stood up. And um, it kind of feels like it's a game that I wouldn't want to play through more than once. But you never know. You never know. I'm going to try the combat challenge. See how that goes. Because we've only been streaming for what? I, I don't know what time it is. About 35 minutes or so? It's July. Yes, that's the one. July, not June. I said, I said, I said July. You just heard June. Yeah. It's not, is, is he saying boo or boo earns? Is he saying June or June lie? I was saying June lie. So the, um, I wonder how long the game will be, says Vandal. Uh, 
I don't know if there's there's been any hint as to how long the game will be, but I couldn't imagine it being any longer than six hours. That seems to be like um, a good length for a VR game. Could be shorter. A lot of VR games are around the four hour length. I don't think it's going to be that long. I don't think it's going to be as long as 10 hours. Um, but who knows? Defeat all the drones within the time limit. Okay. I'm having a good time, though. I'm enjoying it. Definitely wish I was stood up, but... Couldn't be asked to move my sofa in this heat. Okay, these are auxiliary weapons, so hands up, palms down. Oh, what? Unibeam. Oh. Now we shoot. Oh. Not too shabby. I suppose you need to paint multiple What kind of that smart though? missiles? Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, we've got better guns now, but I'm very bad at them. So you paint them, and then so it's kind of like accuracy. Panzer Dragoon. Gunsmith set a timer on this combat challenge. Down a lot of drones fast. Got it. Okay. Whoa. Wave one. Uh, oh, I've already forgotten how to do the the hands out one. Doing. Oh, it's. Okay, I'm slowly getting there. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be breaking any records this time. Oh, I keep using the... I keep trying to fire with the triggers and move with the move buttons. Well done, sir. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Flying to the next arena. Lovely sunset. Does look very pretty, this. Stay alert. Oop, what's that then? Mmm, my health. Uh. Each eight it. Oh no. You gotta kinda of do Mr. Burns wrists. If you wanna do the rockets successfully. Not close enough to lock on, huh? I tell you once once you get used to the controls on this, uh, I think like doing these kind of challenges is gonna be pretty awesome. Yet. Especially like the, the the noise is in the headset of the rockets taking off when you launch them are really cool. There are some very good sci-fi sound effects in this. Oh, come on, you. Oh, I thought I had about seven flying off then, but... There you go, that's... So yeah, you do have a little bit of downtime between your 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 boosts. So sidestepping isn't something you can do all the time. And as usual, I keep thinking I need to press the trigger to fire my guns. It'd be nice if there would be a way to customize those controls a bit. But I presume it's because the trigger's underneath your your fingers. It kind of mirrors the placement of where your thrusters would be on your hands. So you've got to think of it like that. But still, I'd way prefer the triggers to shoot. 
Ooh, I'm taking some damage. Come here, come here, boy. Oh, they're homing. There we go. I think I've got quite a few then. Oh, steady, lads. Oh, yeah. Absolute. Combat ends in one minute. That's some of that. Where are you? I think there's only one left, is there? Oh, he does not want to get shot, this guy. How's that? Did I do it? Any more? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's three... There's five waves, actually. So I'm doing kind of terrible, I think. Oh, you don't seem to... Uh. Oh! Did I crash it? I don't know if I crashed it there or accidentally pressed the... I don't know. I think I just accidentally thumbed the PS home button. Oh... Run out of time. Ooh, geez. Skill. Care to go again? Uh, yeah, I'm getting. I think I'm getting better at it. How are you lot doing? There, uh, we got 136 people watching right now. Uh, happy best Star Wars day to everyone, <laughs> says Mark Russell. What's that? 21st of May. May the 21st be with you. What? Panzer Dragoon, oh, that's a great game, says Gareth. <laughs> uh, seems like there's kind of like 50 50 here with people. Some people, Unholy Muppet says, I think this would bore me quite quickly. Banner says, I wonder how long this would last. Um, yeah, I think, I th I, I think it's going to be one that is going to sell really well on the PlayStation VR just because it's like um you know it's a Marvel game you get to be in Iron Man's suit and um it's just pretty it's good fun to play uh restart from checkpoint but yeah I do think it's going to be limited replayability and the amount of once you've got good at it and you're not confusing the move and the trigger buttons all the time like me and I, d I can't imagine there being a huge amount of replayability with it, but what there is is definitely, f it's definitely good fun. And there has been, for me, it feels like there's been a lack of anything that exciting on PlayStation VR this year. I mean, the, the Walking Dead game on PSVR, um, I've not played the PSVR version, but I've heard people who've played the psvr version say it's really really good uh and the the pc version of that uh was incredible and it felt like another step forward in in um vr because it gave you it gave you so much freedom of choice uh to do what you want like you know you sneak go loud little bit of an open world as well so you never knew really knew what to expect there was choices and things this is this is an on rail this is as on rail shooter as you can get in vr so um you know it, it's not it's not going to be groundbreaking in terms of gameplay and story but it's going to be like basically it's it's like a cool Disneyland ride inside your own home, I think. And, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Getting to be Iron Man is pretty sweet. I don't think many of the other superheroes okay. would feel this good in weapons, VR. So, hands up, palms down. Impressive accuracy. Thank you. 
Reloading Gunsmith's Malibu time trial. Good luck, sir. Good luck indeed. I'm like skiing. I'm skiing. Woo! I'm skiing, man. Doing a bit better this time. A bit quicker with the old uh, paint of my targets. Ooh. Go. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of range on my laser cannons actually. You have to be kind of you have to be quite close, otherwise the your laser cannons are quite ineffectual. A skull's hitting your way, sir. Well. Come on, do my oh okay. I've started pressing trigger again by accident. Where is it? Where are ya? Where are ya? Sounds like it's... Oh, there it is. Nice. Textbook shooting. It does feel... When you... It does feel really good when you're nailing it. Eat shit, robots. There we go. Way quicker this time. Still got three minutes twenty-one. Look out, sir! It seems our enemies have friends. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Let's get a little bit closer if I can. Yeah, that barrage of rockets is pretty powerful. Definitely feels a lot cooler to play once you get your hang on the controls. I like the noise of those spaceships as well. Kind of weird, like rubber bandy kind of electronics of them. Eat shit. Okay, now this way. Okay, we got. I had 15 seconds when I got to this point last time. Boom. Ow. But do you know what? I, f I forgot all about my f my fisting as well. It's not not that good on those guys, though. These work better. Oh, fuck. Whoa! You're a cheeky. Boop. This one's angry. Why can't I... Shit! Ow! Come here, you bugger. Where are you? Up! Oh. Nice, got him. One final arena. Not over yet, sir. Enemies inbound. Just fist them all to death. Half a minute remaining. I'm fucking sweating so much right now. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Oh, no. It's all gone wrong. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh I've have I done that? I've sustained significant damage. I've somehow activated my chest laser and absolutely annihilated everyone. Ah I only just worked out well, I don't know how I did it, but I I unlocked my uni beam, which uh absolutely annihilated everyone. Uh I feel like if I'd have known, if I'd have worked out how to do that a little bit sooner, I'd have been, uh, I'd have been well sorted. Uh, can you use one hand to? Can you not use one hand to strafe and the other to fire? You can, yeah. You can, um, you can use whatever combination of hands you want. Uh, I just like using. I just like double fisting. Doo do. Eric Lowe. I also try VR once and would definitely buy if the money was there. PS5 looks like a good time for me. Yeah, hopefully they if they do bring out PSVR with PS... Like a new PSVR with PS5, that they have thumbsticks uh, on them because uh, that'd be good. I wonder if this works with the, the foot... This would be really good with the foot paddle thing. I don't know how... How well, um, uh, b -b 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 I don't know how well that would work with the thrusting, but using the foot paddle thing, I can't remember what it was called. I did, I used it for a couple of videos. Um, you stand on like a little wobble board and it, you can move yourself backwards and forwards with that. That would help with the steering a lot because then you could concentrate on the shooting. I'm not ambidextrous though, so I don't fancy my chances of being able to actually shoot and strafe at the same time. I've just realised that makes a, a little watery noise. Splooch, splotch, sploot. Start mentioning is three stories of fine art. Okay, one last go uh, before I go and have a shower and mop my sofa up. <laughs> Grim. <laughs> the 3D rudder, that's the one, Gavin. Ruddily. So. Okay, these are auxiliary weapons, uh. so. Hands up, palms down. Now we shoot. Impressive accuracy. Reloading Gunsmith's Malibu time trial. Good luck, sir. You can, but my brain's not going to be able to handle that kind of... <laughs> that's kind of... That kind of nonsense. That was nice. Oh, that's rubble. That's uh, <laughs> debris, even. Well done, sir. Thank you. So my uni beam is out, 38% charged. Nice. It's taking a lot of brain power to. Ah. Oh shit, right. Oh, shit. It's one of them. Where's the other? Where's the other? Whoop woo, good job. Three minutes fifteen. More enemies headed straight 
No. Oh, sometimes it, it it feels a bit wonky where your wrists are supposed to be. Oh, that's power boosted. Okay, I, how do I... I don't know how you do it. What's that mean? There we go. Eight at decades. Critical systems still function, but we are struggling. Okay, I'm still not really sure how I set that off. <laughs> it worked. There's some extra power here. Look. Looks like you can't lock onto the Revenant. Oh, fuck! Some damage taken, sir. Wow. Ow. He's dead. Final one. Let's see if I can unlock my uni lever. Ah, oh, shit! I hit a rock. I hit a rock. Oh, all my guns are overheating. Oh no, fuck. Uh. Oh, my beam is so close. Uh. I don't know how to do it. Is it that? Is it that? Is it? No, I ran out of time. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck it. Very good, sir. Again? No. no. It's good fun. It's good fun. I enjoy it. I think it's going to be um, a hit for PSVR owners, definitely. Um, I don't think... Um, I don't think I'm going to ever get good at remembering which button's which. I have got the sweatiest face in the world. So, um, gross. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. It is a lot better performing than it was when I played it before. So fair play. The delays have uh, definitely done a good job and things have been tweaked. Uh, it's good fun to play. It really is good fun to play. When you get in the swing of things and when you're starting like shooting with two hands and flying around, it's when it becomes uh, like automatic. When, when I'm not having to think about what buttons to press and stuff. That's when it starts really feeling cool. Um, I got zero nausea from flying around. Uh, I was using smooth turning and I had blinkers turned off, but there are safety, um, safety measures like tap turning and vignetting just in case. Uh, but yeah, zero nausea there. Didn't even get a lurch in my stomach at any point. So that was pretty cool. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to playing through the whole game when it releases on the uh, 3rd of January uh, 2020. See, I said January. Um, it's 34.99 according to Gavin. That's more than I thought it would be. So maybe it's going to be longer than the four to six hours that I um, predicted. 
there's obviously like challenge modes in it as well like that but i don't really play challenge modes that much i'm, I'm not the sort of person that plays uh challenge modes how much uh body weight is in sweated out to ZA one two two quite a lot quite a lot um uh, to be fair, Ian, you don't count how much you play, says Monica Lockpick. No, I do. That's why I said that there would uh, there were safety devices and stuff uh, like click turn and vignetting. Um, so I do. <laughs> um, right. Cool. Wicked. Anyway, that is me done and dusted for today. I am sweaty enough. I've managed an hour without passing out. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching this stream. Uh, I've been Ian Higton. That's been my sweat. This has been Iron Man VR. And uh, you've all been bloody lovely, as per usual. Uh, thanks to Gavin and Nightcat for keeping everyone safe once again. A big thanks to everyone who's been chatting recently, including Iron Panda, EA122, Eric Lowe, Jeff Henry, McLeod, Gavin UK, Kate, Lily, Monica, Lockbrick, Paul A, Nightcat, Richard, Unholy Muppet, and Alex Samaras. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with some uh, Drunk Warzone, which should, I think it's going to start, Warzone's going to start about 7 p.m., I think, because. Um, as far as I can tell, this isn't a hundred percent confirmed, but I think Happy Hour Tavern Time tomorrow is going to be 4 p.m. till 6 p.m. We've got a special guest and a brand new bar to booze in, so you gotta you you gotta turn up for that one. Bring some booze, stand by for quizzes, and then after that, jump over to platform 32 and watch chaos unfold as the sausage squad goes crazy in the war zone thanks to everybody who has been watching the stream i'll see you soon in the virtual realities oh, bye bye <laughs>